even if it's a spare tire position, it's up to the vice president, uh, the vice presidents themselves to make it their own. Mm-hmm. And they can use that either to help the people or they can use that as a political vehicle to eventually become president. Let's face it, the moment you become VP, everybody's going to think that you're probably going to aim for the presidency. Because you're just one step, you're just one step, right? And so, um, I've covered two people. One really wanted to be president as a child. The other one had no ambitions to become president but was called to run for the position. Um, and it and if you are vice president, you actually have the potential machinery or you have the means to make such a machinery in the next six years so that when you do run your presidential campaign, nice setup mo na yon. Yeah. Um, but um, ano rin eh, you're going to be a target just because you're the vice president that happened to Binay, that happened to Robredo. Regardless of whether they, in the case of Binay, he declared early, Robredo declared late, but she was still attacked. So when you're the VP, you're in that position that makes you a potential target for uh, political rivals. Um, so nasa sayo yun. Gagamitin mo ba yung position na yun to eventually propel yourself to the presidency? Or are you just going to focus on whatever advocacy you've decided to um to, to champion for as vice president. And at least with the two VPs, may mga parallelism sa story nila, pero makikita mo na kung saan sila nag iba eh. Yeah. So it's very interesting for me. Fun, fun to cover, the VP actually. 